What do you do if you've passed the general curriculum 03 math exam, but not the multi-subject? Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and we're gonna answer that question right now. Let's go. Yay! Okay team, now let's answer the question, what happens if you pass the math? You pass the general curriculum 03 math, that really hard one that you took years and years and years to pass, but you didn't finish off the multi-subject. Ah, oh, no. Well, this is where they gotcha. Because if you pass the math, but not the multi-subject, it doesn't really matter. You're still gonna have to take two more exams. Can you believe that? So let me just state that again. If you spent years and years and years passing, preparing and getting done this exam, but you didn't finish this one, the way it's structured right now, you're still gonna have to take two new tests. There's no way out of it based off of the options that are here. Meaning, uh, unless you're able to opt out and take like the MTEL Flex, which, you know, there's a whole other separate video for that and you should check that out. Just type into Google, um, um, a Go Academy MTEL Flex, you'll see a one hour video on that. But, but outside of that option, if you look at these options here, you're going to have to take two new exams. These, all of these options are challenging. There's not one option here that's easy. Uh, let's look at the two most common options, these first two. This one says, hey, if you didn't pass that multi-subject exam that was only 55 questions, you know what? Uh, you can now take a new test, a general curriculum ELA and history test, which is 60 questions and a uh, general science test, which is 100 questions. So you can go from a 55 question test with one essay to a 160 question combo test uh, with uh, two essays. Yeah! How about this one right here? Or this is probably going to be the most likely option for teachers, which is not fun. Teachers that did not pass this, okay? are gonna most likely be forced to take this one right here, which means they're gonna to have to take the new 278 math and science test and the new 178 uh, language arts and history test. Each of these exams has uh, 60 questions. Um, collectively, this means it's, it's gonna be a harder test. Collectively, these exams both have about 20% more content in them. So it's gonna be more content and, and it's, it's going to be a lot more, more questions and more content. It's going to be tough. Okay.